This is code.org, and this program has a bug that makes the text get printed incorrectly. Run the program without changing anything to see what's wrong. Then try fixing the problem. Okay, I'm going to hit run. And my, name the robot. Fred the robot. I just didn't name Fred once. It was odd because I use that for everything. Oh, wait. Greetings. My name is is the Fred the. That's an interesting name, robot. Okay, so I think we see what's going on. Oh, it tells you Wayne. The text printed should have spaces, yeah. All right, so run the code. Yep, fix the bug. So why is this happening? Well, let's take a look. I know code runs in order, so I'm going to start at the tip top here because when run gets executed first. Then what? Background set, robots made. We smack this text onto our screen, and then we let the computer know, hi, computer. Once, uh, once we answer name robot, where does that information go, right? Where does this answer go? It's going to go into this variable name. So whatever I put here, our variable, after I type it in and check and hit the check, our variable will be equal to that answer. So Fred, Fred would be, name would be equal to Fred in the example I just did. Now, when name is answered, okay, so this looks fine. The computer will wait. And until this variable equals something like Fred, it will wait until that happens. Once that happens, it's going to print greetings. My name is, oh, oh, look though. Let me show you something. It looks like there's no space at the end, right? So let me see. Let's put a few stars here. Rank. Ah, you see what's happening? So computers are super dumb. They can only do exactly, exactly, exactly what we tell them, at least for now till Terminator takes over the world. That being said, we need to put a plus here because it's not going to do it automatically. It's saying, I'm just throwing that variable in there. Let's see. If we put a, a plus, if we put a space right here, we give this a shot. Uh, my robot's name is Santa. Fancy. Yeah, we got it. Onward.